All right, here is block two of the Bliss Quilt Along. This is through the Fat Quarter Shop and their Sew Sampler box. If you do not subscribe to the Sew Sampler, you can still purchase these patterns for the blocks individually on their site. This month, or this series is through Fig Tree and Company. I love their fabric. I love their, their patterns. I did get the fabric kit for this box, and isn't the fabric just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's so amazing. So as I put this block together, you're going to hear me talk about Deidre's quilt journey. She is a subscriber on my channel and I'm so excited to share some of her quilt photos and her story on quilting with you. It is such a beautiful story. If you would like me to read your story during, while I put together one of these blocks, go ahead and send me an email and a few photos of quilts that you would like me to share. I would love to read your story um, as I put one of these blocks together. So let's get started on this block. So here is what Deidre sent me. Here's my story on how I got started. So I lost my parents eight years ago, five weeks apart. I inherited my mom's old new home limited edition sewing machine and a ton of fabric and supplies. Going through her things, I found some of her UFOs, so at 50, I started my journey. I had to get good enough to dare touch her blocks. Determined to learn how to sew to get good enough to finish her blocks, I took a class and figured out how to use a sewing machine and made a few projects. I was hooked. I had tried pottery and painting, but this was natural. I took shop in school and forced and forced to do economics one time. This is one regret that I didn't see with mom. I don't let rules determine what I do. If I see something I want to make, I try it. That is my best advice to a newbie. Don't be afraid to try. What's the worst that can happen? Also, subscription boxes are a good way to test things out, be it techniques or notions. While on this journey, I discovered mom's old embroidery hoop and cards but no machine. I went to some classes that provided machines and again fell in love. Bought two machines. One I use as a class and travel machine. Now when I sew or embroider, I think of mom and it's like she is hugging me. It is very cathartic. The Christmas tree quilt has mom's Santa blocks in it and is made almost entirely from her fabric. The Missouri Star Quilt Company Squared Quilt is also made in, almost entirely from her fabrics. I keep finding items for sewing in some blocks. It's like she is giving me little gifts along the way when I need it most. I miss her terribly. Thanks for giving me a space to share my story. Thanks, Deidre. Wasn't that just lovely to listen to? I really felt teary-eyed when I first read this and at the part where she says that it is like her mom is giving her a hug when she is working on the the quilt blocks that she's given or sewing and all that oh my goodness it is just so heartwarming and I think a lot of us probably feel that way sometimes too when we're doing something that reminds us of someone else. I know certain songs remind me of some people, certain smells, so I can definitely relate to having something that makes you think fondly of someone else. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Deidre. I really, really loved it, and I loved the quilts that you sent in that I was able to share with everyone here, and I hope everybody found some comfort in the story as well or related it to it in some way if you would like to send in your quilt journey story i am still looking for more to share as i create these blocks you can send me an email at create beautiful quilts at gmail.com if you would like to send one in and you can send as many quilt photos as you would like or any other projects that you are working on you can share a story about how you got started with quilting or you could send in some information on tips that you have found along the way uh, whatever you would like to send in that has to do with quilting i would love 
to share your story as I put one of these blocks together. It has been so much fun reading them and I love sharing them with everyone as well. So just like that, here is the finished block and it is so cute. Thanks for watching.